Good afternoon. Welcome back to this ninth session of Crick Neck Chair Yoga. And this practice was born out of the, the need that I had to sort of reverse some of the, the straining um, of my neck as I peered into the laptop. So I want to welcome you back to this virtual gallery of the Crow Museum of Asian Art, a museum that cares about you deeply and has been with you all along through this pandemic, through this COVID-19 crisis in our world. And anything I can do to offer you a little reversal of stress, um, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to do it. So I'm also doing it for myself. So if you're here in the room and want to check in on the chat, we'd love to hear from you and create a little bit of inter and intra connection. Um, I'm Amy Lewis Hoffland. I'm the senior director of the Crow Museum of Asian Art. I always wanted to be a museum director in yoga pants. So that is that is happening right now, which is very exciting. So let's um, let's give people a moment to arrive. I want to thank Caroline Kim and Amelia Flores who are on the back channel helping with the production of this time that we have together. And I just want to honor that this is a transition time. So whatever you need to do to be more comfortable, go ahead and find your seated position. And I thought I would read from a Pixie Lighthorse's book, Prayers of Honoring Voice, as we sort of settle in together. Thank you for this day of watchfulness. Give me the perception to notice the changes taking place inside of me. Help me to see them clearly reflected in my environment. Take me deep into the hermitage of my spirit to ponder the here and now and foresee the coming challenges. Purify my filters so that I can understand my connection to all living things and my place in this universe. So welcome to this universe as we tilt from the work week into the weekend. And we are um, on the cusp of week 10 of sheltering in place. So I uh, welcome you to this time of intentionally honoring the transition of going from um, the requirements of the day, the requirements to show up to Zoom meetings, to prepare for presentations, to be on. Um, there's definitely a different level of being on for Zoom meetings, which is different than just so showing up in the human space. So let all that go. It's over and these 15 minutes are really critical because um, they offer you the pivot point, the transition point um, into your weekend. And your weekend can go one of two ways as I see it in my own experience. Um, I can either honor the transition and be thoughtful about um, what is my intention for this evening, what is my intention for tomorrow, or I can just zone out in Netflix. And I choose not to do that. Um, I'm choosing to look for um, what compassionate action can be created, what restoration can be created for me, um, what is a way to um, relax and restore without kind of watching TV shows that might not be so healthy for me. So that's just a personal choice that I'm setting as an intention for this weekend. I also would love to offer the mantra before we get to yoga, which is very soon, I promise the mantra of let nothing be difficult or challenging this weekend. Let nothing be difficult or challenging this weekend. So let's just arrive with some rotation on either hip, kind of just moving over to the right, moving over to the left, offering a little bit of motion, giving yourself some of the opposite of stiffness, just shifting the weight and then Slowing that down a little bit, noticing equanimity and equilibrium, kind of slowing. You're shifting your weight onto one foot and then another. 
See if you can kind of mirror the breath. So inhaling. And then coming to stillness in the middle. You might just experiment with finding that plane of the seat moving from the front to the back. Noticing the shifts of weight. Bringing the head into alignment over the shoulders and the collarbone. Lifting the skull out of the base of the neck, out of the cervical spine. Offering yourself a nice extension of the torso. Offering yourself a clear, open space for your next breath. And let's take five deep inhalations and exhalations here. Slowly. And three. Feeling the extension of the belly in these breaths. These are deep belly breaths. Letting go of the day. Noticing the energy of the body, the energy of the mind. Taking a moment to bring the hands to Heart Center, Anjali Mudra. Pressing palms, knuckles, and fingers together. Feeling kind of the tension of pressure and torque as you press one palm into the other. And then in micro movements, release. And let's just do that five times. You should feel, feel the engagement all the way up to the tops of your shoulder. And then release. And then taking that pose all the way up into the sky Touching the sky, toko asol, as I was taught. I can't see the top of my hands, but they're there. Pulling your shoulders back, rib cage forward, shoulder blades back. You can straighten your arms if you feel like it, or just offer a modification. I'm doing a modification for you all. Bringing the skull up out of the cervical socket. Taking the arms up, holding, undoing. The opposite of the slouch is this, right? Bringing the arms out into a large Y shape. Palms are up toward the sky, holding and remembering to breathe. Let's take five deep breaths here, feeling the power of this pose. And one more. Dropping the arms in micro movements down to the side of your chair. Taking the shoulder on the right side down, pressing that hand down into the earth, feeling the stretch along the back of the right ear into the neck, down into the shoulder blade. You might tilt your head to the left just a little bit offering a nice linear extension across those muscles. 
again, you're not forcing anything. You're just offering gravity and an extension of that arm, which has really been up like this probably all day. So just take it back down and you can pull the shoulder up to your ear just to get a sense of how much motion can you involve the shoulder. And if you have any shoulder issues or um, anything here, be obviously be very careful with yourself. So taking that shoulder down, bringing it up to the right ear. You're not really, I'm moving my head, but you should just leave your head straight up and down and then up and then down and just shake out that right hand, okay? On that left side, taking the shoulder all the way down, pressing that hand toward the earth, grounding in this position, imagining roots coming from the fingertips into the earth, pulling the shoulder slowly back up toward the head, noticing the range of motion that you've been missing all week. Do that a couple more times. And then beginning to kind of roll out the shoulders, going from front to back, letting the arms loosely hang at the sides. What kind of range of motion can you offer? I'm sore. Anyone else sore? Don't, don't stop and text me. Um, and then rolling forward, offering again that circular, and I'm, I'm pushing my hands. So if you find yourself doing that, just shake it out. And just let the hands stop doing the work. Okay, and then bringing back to center, finding the breath. Taking the head into a nice stretch, face to sky, feeling the extension across the front of the neck, holding almost as if you're in a, a cat cow, bringing the head down, shoulders down into cat cow, arching the back, and coming back out. So just a few rotations of a modified chair yoga cat cow. Exhaling on the extension, inhaling on the contraction. And coming back to center. Taking a moment to find the breath, noticing the energy of the body and the energy of the mind. Feeling sensations in the arms, in the back. Noticing areas of the body that may be still tense. Can you offer release and relaxation to those areas? Perhaps with each breath, offering a cleansing space of restoration and renewal. Bring your mind's focused awareness to the breath this breath that breathes this body. And set the intention for how you will move this body through the next 48 hours. What do you need the most? If you're too programmed, can you unprogram the weekend? If you need less, 
receive less. If you've been talking all day into Zoom screens, can you find the time in your schedule this weekend to rest the voice? What at the end of the weekend would give you a sense of joy and purpose if you saw it accomplished? Maybe it's just one thing. On the next few breaths, draw the breath in a little more deeply, bringing your mindful awareness back to the room where we are. Offering an acknowledgement that the energy shifts now and we're moving from work into weekend with intention for looking mindfully at how we arrive to this life this weekend in every moment um, on purpose and non-judgmentally and you might pick up the mantra and maybe Caroline will write it into the chat of let nothing be difficult or challenging can you put yourself into that headspace that nothing to let nothing be difficult or challenging Thank you. I'll be back at 8 o'clock for Vesper body scan, which is what happens on Friday night. And again, uh, this comes to you live from the Crow Museum of Asian Art, and we are halfway through our celebration of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Asian Pacific Islander American Heritage Month. Apologies. Where we uh, honor the traditions and the beautiful gifts of community um, in our world and in our Dallas. So these 31 days are my gift back of mindfulness and yoga. So thank you, Deborah. It's so great to have you with us and to the community that was here. Um, enjoy your next couple of hours. And if you are coming back for mindfulness, I'll see you soon. We'll be back every night uh, this month of May at eight o'clock for a mindful practice. And thank you to the back of house team and um, Patsy, great to see you. Say hello to Gary. All right, thanks everybody.